All right, so today we're going to do a reformer workout with your balls. We're going to start with our foot bars all the way down. We're going to begin with either one middle red spring or one green spring, so a medium or a heavy. Green is your heavier setting. Red is your lighter setting if you want to work your arms a little more. And then you guys can just go ahead. We're going to lie ourselves down onto the mats. And then once we lie down, we're going to take our balls, and balls are just going to start in between our knees. Arms are nice and long on our sides feet out in front of you on your foot bar, and we're just beginning in our neutral spine. So finding that nice heavy sacrum on the mat, feeling all the contact points of our body in that sand. And then we're just gonna start with a breath. So we're gonna take a deep inhale, and as we inhale, we're gonna feel our ribs expanding into the mat, into the outsides of the room. And then on our exhale, just letting our ribs draw back together. And again, deep inhale, feel our ribs expanding. And then exhaling again as we let the ribs draw back together. Right now, as you guys breathe, it's just a really nice time to find your body equally weighted in that imaginary sander on the carriage underneath you. And each exhale, just feel yourselves getting heavier in that sand. And then let's just do one more deep inhale, one more deep exhale. Good, now we're gonna take another inhale. And on our exhale, we're gonna take our marble and just roll it into the 12. So we're flattening the low back down into the mat. And then on our inhale, roll that marble into your six so you're finding that nice little arc. And then exhaling as we roll that marble into our 12 and then inhaling as we bring it back into our six. Exhaling to your 12, and then again, inhale, just bring it back into our six. We're just going back and forth from our 12 to our six, thinking about warming up the low back and warming up our low abdominals. And then wherever you guys are at, let's just do one more 12, one more six. And then from our six, just bring that marble right back into our navel, so we're back into our neutral spine. Now we're gonna hold that neutral spine. We're gonna take an inhale, and then on our exhale, we're just gonna give that ball a little squeeze, and we're gonna think about activating our pelvic floor muscles, and then inhaling as we release. Exhale, squeeze. Remember, pelvic floor muscles are those muscles that stop you from that mid-urination flow, also known as your Kegel muscles. Inhaling as you release. Exhale, squeezing that ball, activating your pelvic floor. Inhale, release. Exhale, a little squeeze. Inhale, release. Two more. Exhale. Inhaling as we release. Last one. Exhale, squeeze. And then inhale to release. Now, we're going to take that marble. We're just going to roll it back into our 12 until that low back's flat. Hands are going to take the pegs that our straps rest on to. Elbows are open nice and wide. And then knees are just going to draw up into our tabletop position. Heels are clicked together. And then we're going to inhale and sway the knees to the right side of the room, letting the hip and the back come up, but keeping the left shoulder blade anchored. And then on our exhale, we're slowly drawing those knees back up into our tabletop using our obliques. Inhale, we're going to sway to the left side of the room, keeping the right shoulder anchored. Let the hip and the back come up, and then exhaling as we draw those knees right back. Inhale, swing to the right, let the hip, the back come up, and then exhaling as we draw the knees back. So warming up our spine, warming up our obliques. Let's do one more right, one more left. And then last one, inhale. And exhaling as we bring it back. Now, set the feet down out in front of you. Find your neutral spine. Take your short loops into your hands. I gotta grab mine. And then let's go ahead. Well, give me just a second. Totally forgot about my straps. Yeah. All right, so ball still in between your knees. 
Short loop is in your hands, loops are in your hands, and then arms are just gonna reach nice and long up to the ceiling. Knees are gonna draw right up into our tabletop position, and we're gonna start with abdominal curls. So on an exhale, let's press and curl up into an abdominal curl, keeping that neutral spine. Inhale as we return it back down with control. Again, exhaling as we press curl, think reach to the fingertips, inhale to lower it back down. Exhale, press and curl up, and then inhale to return. Let's do two more. Exhale to curl, inhale, lower back down, and then last one, exhale, press, curl, and we're gonna hold it up here. On an inhale, dip the toes down towards our springs. Exhale, carving out the low abdominals to lift the knees back up. Inhale, dip the toes down. Exhale, carving out the low abdominals to lift. Inhale, dip, and exhale, lift. Stay in that neutral spine. Let's do two more. Inhale, exhale, lift. Last one, inhale, dip the toes. Exhale, lift the knees back up. Arms go up, head goes down, and then feet can just go down in front of us, feel free. If you want to give your knees a little sway from side to side, you can. And then we're going to take that ball from the knees and we're going to place it just right in between our ankles. Arms are going to reach nice and long, still in our neutral spine. Knees draw right back up into that tabletop. And then we're going to exhale, press and curl ourselves back up into our abdominal curl. Inhale, reach our legs out to a challenging level. Exhale, pull the knees back in, stay in your neutral. Inhale, reach the legs out. And then exhale, pull the knees back in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull back in. Let's do two. And then last one, reach it out, pull it in, arms go up, head goes down, and then feet can go down out in front of you. Feel free again if it feels good to sway the knees, give those knees a nice little sway. And then we're gonna keep that ball right where it is. Arms just nice and long, draw the knees right back up into our tabletop on our exhale. Press, curl back up into that abdominal curl, reach both legs straight up to the ceiling. Double leg lowering, we inhale, we lower both legs down. Exhale, carving out the low abdominals to lift. Inhale, lower both legs down. Exhale, lift it back up. Four more. Three. Two. And then last one, lower. Bend the knees, arms go up. Head goes down, and then again, feet can just go down out in front of you. Keep that ball in between your ankles. Give those abdominals a break for just a second. And then we're reaching the arms nice and long again. We're gonna draw our knees right back up into tabletop. This time back up into your abdominal curl. We're gonna press and curl up. We're gonna reach those legs out to a challenging level. We're gonna take our left foot. It's gonna kind of roll to the top of the ball. We're gonna bring it back. Right foot's gonna roll to the top. Bring it back. Left foot and back right foot and back one more left foot and back right back bend the knees arms up head down and again feet just down out in front of you hang these straps on up we're going to take that ball out it can just go to the side of your reformer and then we're going to sit ourselves off to the sides foot bars can go to the top position position all right in for our footwork spring so two outside reds and a blue will be your light setting. Three reds is gonna be medium. And then three reds and a blue will be your heavier setting. And then let's just go ahead and we'll lie ourselves back down. We're gonna take our balls again, and then balls are just gonna go right in between the knees. We're gonna start with the heels on the foot bar, and they're just gonna be parallel with each other, a little wider than sits bones distance away just because we have that ball. So we're gonna take an inhale in our neutral spine before we start moving our carriage. We're gonna exhale, take that marble, we're rolling it to the 12, and then from the 12, we're gonna peel our spine up off the carriage. Take an inhale at the top, and then on our exhale, roll the spine all the way back down. Inhaling back into our neutral, and again, exhaling as we flatten and we peel up. Take an inhale at the top, and then on our exhale, roll that spine all the way back down. Think one vertebrae at a time. Inhaling in neutral, we're gonna do one more. Exhaling as we flatten and we peel the spines up. Holding at the top for an inhale. On our exhale, we're gonna give that ball a little squeeze, activating our inner thighs and our pelvic floor. Inhale as we release. Exhale, little squeeze. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze. 
inhale release and little squeeze and release last one exhale squeeze inhale release on our exhale we'll roll that spine all the way back down into the mat come right back into our neutral stay on your heels on your inhale we're going to press the carriage out and then on our exhale pull it back in inhale as we push and then exhale to pull keeping ourselves right into our neutral spine so that sacrum should stay nice and heavy Good. push it out pull it back in and i do want you guys today to have a little squeeze of that ball in between your knees so your inner thighs are working if those knees kind of wobble out a little bit that is okay i want an active squeeze of that ball pushing out pulling back in let's do two and in last one press bend come halfway in hold it at that halfway point we're going to do little pulses of our carriage for 10 nine eight keep that sacrum heavy six five four three two one press all the way out squeeze up all and then bend and come back in arches of our feet are going to come out to the foot bar again we're going to think curl the toes reach the heels little squeeze of that ball push that carriage out those inner thighs should be working and then exhale as we come back in pushing away on our inhale exhale pull back in so think about those abdominals drawing in and up our spine towards our solar plexus to pull back in feel those legs working squeezing that ball let's do three two and then the last one bend come halfway in again hold it right there little pulses for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one push it out and then bend and bring it back in toes and balls of our feet are going to go onto the foot bar again stay that same distance away mine are about sits bones distance away nice squeeze of that ball go ahead inhale push out think equally way to throw all, all 10 toes and then exhale pull it back in inhale as we press away exhale to come back in push and pull out and in Let's do three, two, and then the last one. Bend, come halfway in, little pulses of that carriage again for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one press it out lower those heels underneath the foot bar stay for a nice calf and achilles stretch from there we're going to lift the heels up and then we're going to lower the heels back down lifting the heels up lowering the heels back down think equally weighted thread all 10 toes as we lift and lower lift and lower let's lift for five for that activation come from the backs of the legs into the glutes three two last one bend the knees bring it all the way back in take that ball we're going to set it to the side of our reformers we're going to keep the toes and balls of feet on sits bones distance away press all the way out and then we're going to start our runs bending one knee and just lowering the opposite heel And then let's keep one heel lowered when we bend, curl the tops of our toes onto the foot bar, just rock it back and forth from big toe to little toe. And then when you're ready, you can switch feet. Once you have done both, you can just lower both heels underneath the foot bar and just stay for a calf and Achilles stretch. 
and then let's lift the heels up, bend the knees, bring the carriage back in, and we'll sit ourselves off to the sides of our reformers. Foot bars are gonna lie all the way down. And again, we're gonna go on to either a middle red or a green spring. So a medium or a heavy. Green is your heavy, red is gonna be your medium for our abdominal work. So if you do want a little heavier, go with that heavy spring lighter go with that medium spring and then we're going to lie ourselves down we're going to use our balls again so we're going to take the balls we're going to lift our pelvis up and that ball is going to go right underneath your sacrum so that lowest part of your back right above your tailbone if you guys need to bring your feet onto the wooden frame of the carriage to lift up a little higher feel free and then once you get that ball there we're going to reach back and we'll take our short loops into our hands now, if you need to pause and adjust this ball at any point, feel free to pause and adjust. Arms are gonna reach nice and long up to the ceiling. When we feel comfortable, our knees are gonna draw up into our tabletop position. Legs are just zipped together and we're holding our stability on the ball with our abdominals. On an exhale, we're gonna pull the arms straight down to the mat. And then on our inhale, we're reaching those arms straight back up for our reach and pull. Exhale, activating the lats to pull down. And then inhale, return back up. Don't forget on that exhale, you're drawing your low abdominals in and up your spine. So we're using those transverse abdominals as we pull the arms down. And then inhale as we reach back up. Let's do two more. Inhale to reach it back up. Last one, press the arms down. And then again, reach it back up. Now, we're gonna pull the arms back down to the hips, open them out to the sides of the room, circle them around and up. Pressing down, opening to circle around and back up again, activating your lats and just feeling those shoulders doing nice little swirls in their back pockets. Let's do one more. And then we're gonna pull it all the way down to the hips and we're gonna reverse. We're gonna go up to the shoulders, out to the T, press it to the hips. Inhale up, open, exhale, press. Again, just feel those shoulder blades doing nice little swirls. Again, we're holding our pelvic stabilization on this ball with our abdominals. So they're staying connected the entire time. If we need to pause and adjust that ball, we can at any point. Let's just do one more. Hold it at your hips. From there, inhale, open our arms out to a T. Exhale as we press it back down to the hips. Inhale, open out to the T. Exhale, press it to the hips. Activating our lats and our abdominals, or our biceps. If you guys wanna work your abdominals a little more, feel free to extend your legs out to a challenging level and just hold it right there. Make it a little more challenging. For our balance on the ball, a little more challenging for your abdominals. Let's do three, two, and then last one. Hold it at our hips, bend our elbows for a tricep press. Again, knees are either bent or legs are extended. And then we have tricep press. Exhale to press the palms down, inhale, bend. Press and bend. Let's go three, two, and then one. Now hold your arms down. If your legs are not already extended, extend them out. Reach your arms and legs straight up to the ceiling. Hold it right there. On our exhale, we're gonna lower the arms and legs down. And then we're gonna reach the arms and legs back up. Exhale, lower arms and legs, draw those abdominals in and up. Inhale, hinge to come back up. Let's do three more, exhale to lower. Inhale, hinge, keep the ribs connected. And then last one, lower down, hinge to bring it back up. Now, pull your arms straight down, keep your legs nice and long up to the ceiling. On an inhale, let's just lower the right leg straight down. And then exhale, hook into our right oblique to bring it back up. Inhale, lower the left leg down left oblique brings it back up. Inhaling to lower, exhale to lift. Inhale lower, exhale lift. We're gonna do one more on the right, one more on the left, and then we're gonna add in the arms to make it a little more challenging. 
last one. Now hold it up here. At the same time, we're gonna lower our right leg, our left arm is gonna go up to the ceiling, our right arm is gonna go up to the side of the room, and then we're gonna exhale and bring it all the way back to our start position. Left leg lowers, right arm goes up, left leg goes out, and then exhale, bring it back. Keep alternating. Inhale as we lower and we open, and then exhaling as we come back. Inhale, exhale to come back. Use your obliques, use your lats and your biceps. Transverse abdominals should be working too. Let's do one more on that left leg. When you are even, keep your legs straight up to the ceiling. Keep your arms down to your sides. Last thing, double leg lowering. Inhale, we lower both legs down to a challenging level. Exhale, carving out the low abdominals to lift the legs back up. Inhale, lower down to a challenging level. Exhale, carving out the low abdominals to lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale to lift. Lower and lift. Let's do one more. Lower lift, bend the knees, arms go up, feet can go down, and then just hang your straps up. Balls can come out, and then we're gonna sit ourselves off to the sides with our balls. We'll put our balls in our headrest for some sideline. If you prefer for your headrest to be up instead of the ball, you guys can always put your headrest up. And then foot bar is going to go to the top position Oh, sorry, no, foot bars are gonna stay down. We're going in for sideline with straps. So foot bars stay down, and then you can either stay on that green spring, which is a little heavier for your glutes, or you can go onto a middle red spring, which will be a lighter spring or a medium spring for your glutes. So let's start lying on our left side. Once you guys lie down, we're gonna take the strap that's right in front of you, and it's gonna go onto your top foot. Both knees are gonna be bent at a 90 degree angle. Hips should be shifted a little further back than your shoulders. Hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked, and then hands are just wherever they feel comfortable. This top knee should be lifted just about hip distance up off your bottom. And on an exhale, we're gonna press that top foot out. It should be parallel. And then we're gonna bend and come back in. Exhaling as we press that leg out, and then inhale, bend. So we should feel our swimsuit line working right where our glute connects to our hamstring. That's your glute max. That is what's working to press out. Biggest muscle that we have in our body. So I might as well work it. Let's go three, two, and then on this last one, I want you guys to press out and hold it out there. Externally rotate, so toes and knee are gonna point up. Bend your knee to come into your external rotation and then press it back out. Inhale as you guys bend. Exhale, press it back out. Feeling our glute med working a little more this time. So still feel that swimsuit line working, but now we get a little more to the outside of the glute into the glute med, which is a muscle that helps to stabilize your pelvis, helps to externally and internally rotate your femur. Let's do three, two, and then last one, press it out, hold it out there, internally rotate this time, so toes and knee point down, bend to come in, and then press it back out, stay in that internal rotation. Bend and press it back out, glute men working this time. So feel that swimsuit line still working, but now a little more to the outside of our glute, right by our hip area, the glute min. Let's do three, two, and last one, bend, bring it in. Relax this leg for a second. We're gonna finish off with some circles. So we're gonna take this top leg, it's gonna lift again, hip distance up off the bottom. We're gonna press our top foot out, we're gonna hold it out there. From there, we're gonna lift that leg as high as we can up to the ceiling. We're gonna go out in front of us, and we're gonna press it back. We're gonna go up to the ceiling, out in front of us, press it back. Let's just do one more, up to the ceiling, out in front, press it back. Now hold it back there, reverse, bring that leg out in front, up to the ceiling, pull down, two more. Out in front of us, up to the ceiling, 
pull down, last one, nice big hip circles, pull down, bring it out in front, bend the knee, take that strap off of your foot, and then we will switch to the other side. All right, so same thing, take that strap, goes onto the top foot, and then both knees are gonna be bent at a 90 degree angle, parallel, that top knee should be lifted just about hip distance off the bottom, and on our exhale, we're gonna press that top leg out, and then inhale, bend to come back in, pressing out, and then bend, feel that swimsuit line working. Let's do three, and two, and then last one, hold it out there. Externally rotate while we're out, so toes and knee point up. Bend to come in, and then press it back out. Inhaling as you bend, and then exhaling to press it back out. Bend and press. Again, glute med working on that external rotation. Let's do two. And then last one. Hold it out there. Internally rotate this time. So toes and knee point down. Bend to come in. Stand that internal rotation. Press it back out. Glute min. Bend and exhaling as you press. Inhale, bend. Exhale to press it back out. Bend and press. Let's do three two, and then last one. Press it out, bend that knee, relax that leg for just a second. We're gonna finish off with those three circles in both directions. So we're gonna lift that top knee again, hip distance, foot is parallel, press that leg straight out, hold it out there. We're gonna go up to the ceiling with that leg, bring it out in front of us, and then we're gonna press it back. Up to the ceiling, out in front, Press it back, last one, up to the ceiling, out in front, press it back, hold it back there, swing that leg back out in front of you, bring it up to the ceiling and then pull it down. Go out in front of you, up to the ceiling, pull it down, last one out in front of you, up to the ceiling, pull that leg down, bend that knee, take that strap off of your foot, then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hang our strap up. All right, so let's sit ourselves off to the sides of our reformers. We're just gonna take that ball out for a second. You guys can put it right back underneath your carriages. And then we're gonna go on to a light spring. So a yellow spring is your absolute lightest. Um, or if you don't have a yellow, you can always do a blue spring. So I'm gonna do a yellow just to make it a little more challenging. Um, and then just be very careful when we come into this exercise because we're gonna stand on our reformers with this light spring. So extra careful when you guys stand up, you're gonna face your foot bars when you stand up. And then once we stand up onto our carriages, we're gonna walk ourselves forward so that the toes are curling over and the balls of the feet are still on. Feet are just about a little wider than sits bone distance way. Arms are nice and long in our sides. We're gonna start with one roll down. So chin is gonna come down to the chest and then one vertebrae at a time, we're gonna to begin to roll our spines down. Once you guys come down, you can reach out in front of you, hands can go onto the foot bar, and I want you to shift your weight forward so that the shoulders are over your hands. Now, slowly on an inhale, we're gonna press the legs out away from us. We're gonna find a plank position. And then on our exhale, we're gonna tuck the pelvis, hike the hips to bring it back in. Heels can either stay high or they can drop back down. Inhale, stretch out. The majority of the weight should be right into the palms. And then exhale, tuck the pelvis, hike the hips and bring it back in. Now, if you guys want to make it a little more challenging, go with no springs. Just be mindful when you press out, you don't shoot your legs out away from you. It's slow. So you press out on an inhale, hold that plank, and then exhale, tuck the pelvis, hike the hips to come back in. Inhale as we stretch out. Exhale, tuck, hike. 
and bring it back in. Let's do three more. And then two. And then last one, press it out, tuck hike, bring it back in. Now, if you had no springs on, hook on a yellow or a blue spring again. We're gonna do one more thing and it's gonna be push-ups. Do as many as you can. I would like five. If you can only do two, do two. If you can only do one, do one. But if you can do five, try to shoot for the full five. So hands stay right where they are. On an inhale, we're gonna press those legs back out. We're gonna hold shoulders over the hands. Elbows go wide as we sink down into our push-up. Press it back out from the chest. Bend, exhale, press. Let's go three, two, last one. Hold that plank, tuck the pelvis, hike the hips to come in, and then just carefully, one vertebrae at a time, we're gonna roll our spines all the way back up. Once we come back up, we're gonna slowly step ourselves off of our reformers, and we're gonna go on to two outside red springs. Everything can, else can come off, and we're gonna put our foot bar back to the top position. All right, lying back down onto our reformers, we're gonna take our balls, balls are gonna go right back underneath our pelvises, and then again, right on your sacrum, so that lowest part of your back. And then we're gonna reach behind us, and we'll take our long loops into our hands. Long loops can go onto your feet. And then legs are just gonna start nice and long up to the ceiling. Sacrum should be nice and heavy on that ball just like you would have it for your neutral spine. So just make sure that when your legs are up that the low back isn't completely flat and the sacrum and the tailbone aren't up. We still want you guys to have your sacrum onto that ball. Starting with our double leg lowering. On an exhale we're going to lower the legs straight down. Think about drawing our abdominals in and up and then inhale hinging at the hips to come back up. As we exhale and lower, make sure that those ribs stay connected. So imagine that saran wrap around your ribs and then inhaling as you hinge to come back up. Exhale to lower those legs down and then inhaling as we hinge. Let's just do two more. And then the last one, exhale lower, drawing our abdominals in and up and then inhale, hinge to come back up. Now, lower the legs right back down, open them wide out to the sides, and then just circle the legs around to back up. Exhaling as we lower down, inhaling as we open and circle. Keep that sacrum nice and heavy on that ball. Feel that movement coming right from the head of the femur. Let's do one more in this direction. And then once we come back up, we're gonna reverse. So we're gonna open the legs wide. We're gonna press them down and around. Hinge at the hips to come back up. Again, open wide, press them down and around. Zip the legs together, hinge to come back up. Sacrum again should stay nice and heavy. Let's do two. And then last one. Keep those legs zipped together down here. Come into your external rotation so heels the other toes apart. On an inhale, we're gonna open our legs out to the sides of the room. On our exhale, draw the heels back together. Imagine that your heels are on a shelf. So we're gonna dust that shelf off as we open, and then we're gonna dust it off as we close. Inhaling as we open, exhale to close. That carriage should move. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Let's do three more. Use those adductors to draw those heels right back together. Two more. And then last one. Close, once you guys close, hinge at the hips, bring the legs nice and long up to the ceiling. And then feet should be parallel with each other. Low back now is gonna be completely flat into that ball. Keep your legs about at a 90 degree angle. Toes should be pointed straight up to the ceiling and we're gonna keep our carriage still. On an exhale, we're gonna lift our hips up off the ball, squeezing or using our hip extensors or back extensors and then lowering our hips back down onto the ball. Without that carriage moving, lift up off the ball and then lower back down onto the ball. Hips extensors, back extensors working. Lift up, lower it back down, lift 
up, lower it back down. Now last one, lift up, take that ball out, lower ourselves back down, and then let's just come into our prayer stretch. So bottoms of our feet can come together, ball can go right back underneath your former, and then just hold our prayer stretch. Heels can be high or low, you can press the knees away from you, you can always pull the straps. And then from there, we're gonna let both legs go up to the ceiling. We're gonna bend our right knee. We're gonna send the foot down to the floor. So we're gonna come into our hip flexor stretch. Left leg now can either stay straight or you guys can bend it and just hold that stretch. So you should get a stretch in the front of your right leg and then also maybe the back of your left, depending on if it's straight bent, open out to the side, straight up to the ceiling. And then we're gonna switch sides. So we're gonna bring that right foot back up, bend the left knee, send the foot to the outside wooden frame. Right leg can either be straight, bend, straight up to the ceiling, out to the side of the room, and then just hold that stretch. And then we're gonna bring that left leg straight back up. Take these straps off of your feet, hang them back up. And then we're gonna sit ourselves off to the sides of our formers. Last thing, middle red spring. If you're shorter, as I, if you're shorter I would suggest your foot bars go down. If you're taller like me, you can keep your foot bars up. We're gonna stand to the front of our formers facing our foot bars. We're gonna take an inhale, arms are gonna go out to the ceiling. On our exhale, we're diving forward. Hands are gonna take the two outside, two outside corners of your carriage. And then we're just gonna press that carriage out nice and long away from us. And we're gonna hold it out there on an inhale without moving the legs. We're gonna bend the elbows wide and we're gonna exhale, press that carriage back out for push up. Inhale, bend, exhale, press it back out. Keep that length in the legs, length in the spine. Let's bend for three more. Exhale, push, two, and then last one, bend, push it out, hold it out there, stretch out just a little more, tuck the pelvis around through the spine, start to roll yourself to bring that carriage in, one vertebrae at a time, articulate your spine all the way up, roll your shoulders back a few times, forward a few times, and you guys are all done for your day.